It was a marathon effort for signatories to come up with the Tasmanian Forest Peace Deal. Then there was the epic battle to have that deal pass through Tasmania's parliament. But it doesn't end there. In order for it to go ahead, Forestry Tasmania must achieve Forest Stewardship Council accreditation, commonly known as FSC. But getting that tick is by no means straightforward and Forestry Tasmania has less than 18 months to do it. Without it, the peace deal falls over. Fiona Blackwood reports on the next chapter in the Tasmanian Forest Saga. Every day shoppers are bombarded with choice. Price, colour, size, brand. For wood and paper products, there are more subtle considerations, like whether or not the item has an environmental tick of approval. You can walk down your supermarket aisle now and look at uh, many um, personal care products, uh, toilet papers, tissues, things like that, uh, reams of paper. You can find FSC all over the place now. The FSC stamp has grown in dominance in the market internationally and is becoming increasingly recognised in Australia. When consumers or procurement professionals see the FSC logo um, on a product, then they know that that product has come from a responsibly managed forest. One Central Highlands farmer saw the value of certification three years ago. Peter Downey was the first private forester in Australia to gain FSC. Common sense tells me I'll get a better price. You know, any products that have got environmental credentials these days do demand a higher price in the marketplace. FSC hasn't just determined price. In some cases, without it, buyers aren't interested. And it's now widely accepted in the market as one of the uh, major certification schemes. So for us uh, in Tasmania and the rest of Australia, our industry has a mix of domestic markets and some important export markets. And so in that, in that regard, it's uh, very important for us now. Forestry Tasmania and veneer producer Ta An use the alternative, the Australian Forestry Standard Certification. It hasn't been enough. Taran has lost customers in Japan when its Tasmanian product was dropped for one which was FSC certified. FSC certification is the only uh, mechanism it really has to protect and gain access to those markets now. The importance of Forest Stewardship Council certification was recognised by everyone around the table during the early negotiations for the Forest Peace Deal. It's really long-standing and uh, and well-deserved recognition of the role that FSC can play in, uh, in working to, to find lasting and durable solutions to conflict. FSC gained in prominence when the legislation hit Tasmania's upper house. Amendments were made making half a million hectares of reserves dependent on forestry Tasmania's native timber production forests gaining full certification. It should not be blackmail to the conservation movement to say unless you somehow get behind FSC certification and make it happen we are never going to give you the reserves. Of course we were concerned, there is scepticism about uh, the achievability of it but at the end of the day we've been advocating and we've been seeking reserves for uh, 30 years. Uh, we can't unilaterally deliver them and we have failed to be able to do that. They must pass through the upper house to be declared and gazetted as national parks and reserves and this is what this is the threshold, these are the conditions that the Upper House has set. Conditions which pleased the union representing forestry workers, which helped negotiate the original peace deal. You can't uh, just legislate for access to resource if you don't have the market. So for us it's, it is a central piece and it is an important piece. With the goalposts now in place, Forestry Tasmania has begun the process of FSC certification. It's choosing an FSC independent certifier to get the ball rolling. It won't necessarily be easy, but I think the agreement provides a, a, a good basis for, for opening the door again and saying, look, we're, we're different. Forestry Tasmania is working towards full certification by late next year. It will need to meet a range of environmental and social standards. The Australian Greens believe its clear felling and burning of forests could be a sticking point. When you drive through all that smoke in the autumn and see the fire bombing of those coops, I can't believe that that would be FSC certified world's best practice. Uh, FSC doesn't uh, uh, outlaw any particular forest management practice. 
um, it leaves it up to the certifier uh, to determine whether the uh, forest management practice is uh, suitable. <laughs> To gain certification, Forestry Tasmania will need to engage with groups concerned about its logging practices. The state-owned company admits it's got some work to do. I don't think we've engaged very successfully, and this might be an understatement, with uh, some of our uh, key critics and particularly environmental groups. They don't have to please everybody. Uh, they need to show that they've consulted with those who... Uh, those who are affected by their forestry um, activities and those who want to have an opinion and they need to show how they're addressing those. Green groups have an opportunity to have their say during the Forest Stewardship Council accreditation process. It is a confronting thing for the environment movement in Tasmania and in Australia because uh, there are not many native forest operations and certainly none to the scale of Forestry Tasmania's that are FSC certified. Uh, there is no blank cheque, there are no guarantees, but if Forestry Tasmania fails, uh, they'll be told why they have failed, they'll be given opportunities to remedy those issues and they can keep pushing for that certification. With so many voices to be heard and so many checks to be made, the timing of gaining FSC could be problematic. Under the amended legislation, Forestry Tasmania has until October next year to achieve certification in order for the reserves to be declared. I think it is realistic, but there are no guarantees. The process can take up to six years. The average is probably about three years. So we're not looking at this happening any time soon. They should be able to know one way or the other how they're going by October. In the meantime, the federal government forest peace deal money is flowing. The Prime Minister announced that $100 million will be paid out in four years instead of 15. And yet the reserves will not be able to be considered until after FSC certification. So in theory, all of the money might be spent and no reserves ever declared. We do need to see some of that money flow. We do need to exit those workers and those businesses so that we can reduce logging and ultimately protect the forests. Protecting forests and creating a sustainable industry have long been the central themes of the forest peace deal. It's an ambitious undertaking after three decades of conflict and now there's another curveball to face. If there's no FSC certification, there's no access to the Japanese market, um, there, it's unlikely Parliament's going to approve the further lockup of the, um, uh, of the reserves. So I, 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 I would think that the deal would fall over, yes. For both sides, there's a lot riding on picking up the FSC stamp. The 17-month countdown is on. Fiona Blackwood reporting.